people of the internet um welcome to um another video about my first month with using a cochlear implant um it's actually been a little bit more than a month um i had my implant switched on on the 4th of november it's now the 12th of december but um it was my grandmother's funeral at the um on Thursday last week so I wanted to kind of wait until I'd done that um because that's the kind of first major event I've had well I I had one like a couple of days after I had it switched on but now you know that that was like an event so um I had a I had to like speak to people and I just wanted to see how that went before making this video I hope that makes sense um so my first point is that um, I definitely don't regret getting a cochlear implant and I feel very sure that that was the right decision for me personally. Um, that's kind of the overall gist is it's good, I like it. I would really like to get my other ear done but um, that's not available in the NHS at the moment. You know, it's a bit of a um, I might not be able to, but if I can get my other ear done, I would definitely do it, no hesitation. Um, my first impression when it was switched on was that it sounded really robotic and really weird. And um, I was very kind of conscious of the difference in the sound. Um, over the course of the last month, I can still notice that it sounds very robotic, but my brain kind of doesn't focus on it as much like it, I'm, I'm more used to it it sounds more normal to me it doesn't sound as weird and um, I can understand speech very well with it one-on-one um, -on -one, I can virtually understand everything with um, in busier environments just using my processor kind of as it is I do struggle I, I can hear virtually nothing but using the kind of forward focus or the telecoil or um, the mini microphone that I have here. I'll talk about this in a bit. Um, I can I can normally get it to the point where I can understand. Um, you just have to know kind of how to work it. Um, I am very happy with the app and the Bluetooth to my phone. But when I'm streaming um, stuff from my phone directly to my implant, I feel like I can hear it very well, it's very clear. Um, it's much better than just using the phone speaker and just kind of hearing it from the phone speaker. Um, yeah, so I'm very pleased with that. The app works very well. Um, it's not difficult to use at all. It doesn't have a load of kind of extra unnecessary features. It's just the basics of what you need. It just is basically a remote control and also a find my processor and find my processor and like I think it can measure how long you've been wearing a processor I haven't even looked at that but I just use it for the remote control and that works really well um, the forward focus which you can only access from the app is really really helpful when you're in when I'm in like a kind of crowded environment or when it's very noisy it makes it easier to block out the background noise because I find with the sound of the processor that a lot of people's voices sound very very similar and it's difficult to tell different voices apart so when there are two people talking at the same time that's very very difficult to understand and um, the forward focus helps to cut that out a bit so I would recommend learning to use that if you have the same processor as me um, music um with the processor doesn't sound terrible um i was that was one thing that i was kind of expecting i was expecting it to sound terrible um it doesn't sound necessarily awful but it's very very different from what it's supposed to sound like um the best way I can describe it, so at my grandmother's funeral the other day, there was 
the kind of church organ and the church organ sounded very slightly kind of out of tune the way i described it to people was you know the beginning bit of the phantom of the opera where it's like da 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 da, da that it sounds kind of that sort of tone like just very like slightly off um that I don't know how to describe I'm kind of into that like I, I, I quite like a, you know I quite like the you know I, I don't mind it um, a lot of people say it makes listening to music unbearable but um, you know I have a weird I have a slightly uh, niche taste in music anyway so maybe don't take that from me um, the telecoil um, and the mini microphone and the forward focus are brilliant um, I would recommend because you get your one free accessory I would recommend getting the mini microphone uh, I have mine here and I'll show you how it works in a sec um, don't underestimate the telecoil ask if they haven't activated your telecoil at your um, implants centre um, ask them to activate the telecoil <laughs> Um, because mine wasn't activated at first and now they've kind of activated it. It's really, really good. Um, I, the first time I used it was at my grandmother's funeral in the church and I would have honestly, I would have missed the whole thing had I not used it, but I could, um, I could hear everything. Um, I could hear, so my family's Catholic, um, when he was opening the... I don't know what it's called. Is it called a tabernacle? I'm going to make myself look really stupid now. You know the thing where they keep the communion house? I c was the police, the, not police, the priest <laughs> had a microphone like on his collar. And when he was opening the door thing to that, I could hear him like unlocking it and I'm pulling the thing out. Um, I could hear, um, oh, so there was the organ, which was, linked up to the telecoil that I could hear the there was also a lady singing I couldn't I she obviously wasn't linked up to the telecoil I wouldn't have even known there was someone singing but I could just hear the music and I could hear all of the bible readings all of I could hear the eulogy um I could hear I could hear a lot of stuff and I know for a fact that I would not have been able to hear any of that without the telequal and um, especially without my cochlear implant so I am very very grateful that I managed to get um, get my implant in time for uh, that and have that all switched on um, so definitely definitely use that um, the remote control is uh, very useful obviously you can control all of it from the app so you don't really need the remote control if you have the app however in a lot of in a lot of circumstances I personally feel uncomfortable kind of going on my phone because people I'm worried people will think that I'm just texting or playing Candy Crush or something um, so in situations where I don't want to look like I'm playing on my phone I can use the remote control um, to access you know all the different programs and everything you can't get the forward focus with the remote control um so that is a good reason to use the app it was very very easy to pair my processor to the remote i just basically had to stick it to the remote and it just pairs it there are instructions and everything um yeah it works it's very easy to use very intuitive um and the instructions are really good so you just switch it on from like a slider on the side um, and it tells you what program you're on and the volume you can turn the volume um, up and down using the buttons I've been told to keep mine on 10 unless I need to turn it down but to have 10 as the default um, you can also go onto the telecoil by pressing the telecoil button once uh, and that's now on the telecoil um, and if I hold it down it then goes on to mini microphone and then press it again and it and it turns off so and these ones are programs 
up and down. Um, I've only got one main program. I do have a program too, um, but that program too is just my old program that the audiologist put on there in case I hated the new one. <laughs> so um, yeah, you, that's how you use it. It's not hard. Um, yeah, it does take a lot of time and practice to work out what settings you should be using in what scenario and what, you know, it, sometimes it's difficult to know whether you should be using the hearing loop, whether you should be using your mini microphone, whether you should have the forward focus, what's going to give you the best result. So um, I'm really lucky that I've had the only kind of two things I've been to have all been kind of family gatherings where everyone kind of knows what's going on. Um, so I can just play around with it and, you know, um, be like, excuse me, I'm going to try something else now and just try that and experiment and work out what I need to do to get the best results. Um, in different situations um, you do you won't be able to just use well I personally can't just use my processor as is in all scenarios and be able to hear um, I do definitely need the other settings for me but it's obviously very individual so who you knows you know you might you might not you might not find that an issue at all the um processor is very comfortable to wear um i can't feel any pressure or anything from the magnet um i it's not heavy or anything or uncomfortable and the wire's not pulling um it feels very comfortable and normal the only issues I have with it is that it sometimes falls off. Uh, I've got the right strength magnet. It's just sometimes if if I kind of kind of go like that through my hair without thinking or something, I knock it off. Or um, if I'm doing anything with my I'm shaking my head around, or if I haven't got it on properly, then it can fall off. Um, also. Um, I know it sounds silly, but I can't tuck my hair behind my ear really. I mean, I, I can kind of, I can make it go, but it doesn't kind of stay and uh, it's not very comfortable. So I can't tuck my hair behind my ear and I can't really put a hair, I can't really like pin the front of my hair back with a hair clip because the implant, um, the coil is right where I would want to put a clip. So I either have to get kind of behind or like in front and it, I don't know. It's it's just kind of inconvenient when I'm doing my hair, but it's not that much of a big deal. Um, definitely don't let that be something that puts you off getting it. Um, the All the equipment I have is easy to use once you know how to use it. Um, you do need to read the instructions, um, or at least I did. If you already have experience with this sort of thing, you might not. But I did need to read the instructions. The instructions are very clear and very good. So, um, yes, just do that. But it's not the kind of thing where you can, at least for me, where you can just get it out of the box and you know how to use it. Um, because, it, you know, there's just kind of a lot of buttons, especially on the mini microphone. There are a lot of buttons and things that aren't really labelled. Um, and you you just need to read the instructions. It's 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 easy once you know how, but yeah, you, it's not intuitive. <laughs> um, the only issue I have found really is um, now I've got my cochlear implant. My hearing aid on the other side sounds so bad that I really don't like wearing it, and I'm I only basically wear my hearing aid. Um, because my audiologist told me to and said that I need to wear it to keep my auditory nerve alive. Um, I can't really hear anything worth hearing with it and it. I've got a new ear mould now to try and stop it whistling because I had a bit of an issue with it whistling. Uh, I couldn't hear the whistling before. Uh, now with my implant I can hear the whistling from it 
through my implant, um, which is really annoying. Um, and I just, I just don't like to wear my hearing aid now. Um, I've got my implant because now I know how bad my hearing aid sounds uh, in comparison and this is really good um, it's a really good brand of hearing aids it's not it's not like they're not good hearing aids they are good hearing aids it's just my hearing is bad <laughs> and um, it's a there's a limit to what they can do yeah so I think that sums up a lot of things um, there's not much else I, I can really think of that I need to talk about. Um, apart from, I'll just talk about it now. The mini microphone is a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it was basically just a microphone. Um, it is more than just a microphone. Um, I've got it on like a lanyard thing now so I can put it over people's <laughs> heads and um, but you can unclip that. There's just a clip on the back which you can use to like, I don't know, clip it to clothes or whatever. Probably, probably not like that. <laughs> but you, you can clip it to your clothes. Um, you turn it on with that button there and it should flash green. And that's on now. Um, then you either use the app or the remote control. I'll use the remote control because uh, I'm using my phone to film. Um, hold down the telecoil button for two seconds that activates the mini microphone. So now it's on microphone mode so I can hear myself through the microphone when I'm speaking. Um, and then there's this button on the back and you can change it to microphone, telecoil, uh, th there's a music symbol which means you can plug it in using like a normal um, audio aux cord is that what it's called the one the one headphone plug cord and you can plug it into either the tv or a computer or anything and you can listen to that without you can you know listen to um sounds on that um it's also got another setting which is like a square with three lines coming out of it uh can't really remember what that does I'll have to look at the instructions um, you can turn the volume up and down and it's got two microphones on it when it's held vertically it uses a kind of short range microphone um, and that's good for listening listening to an individual person speaking when you hold it horizontally it switches to a longer range microphone which is good for if for example you're sitting at a table and there are multiple people around the table you can put this on the table and it will pick up all of their voices and um, that can help cut down background noise. Um, so that's really helpful. Um, I definitely find that helpful um, even when I'm even when there's not background noise if I'm just having dinner with my family because when I'm sat like at the table I s sit normally with someone to my left and Obviously, I can't hear on my left side, so I can put this in the middle of the table and that just helps me hear the person that's on my left, basically. Even though there's no background noise, I need it to hear the person on my left without fully turning my head. Um, yes, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It, um, I don't know, it feels a bit dry. Normally, I have a bit more of a sense of humour, but I've just been trying not to say like throughout the whole video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, bye, I will see you soon.